Hello everybody, my name is Nostalgia, and welcome back to Heavy Rain. Okay, I think I got my microphone working just fine. Because I noticed in the last episode my voice was fading in and out pretty bad on some parts. But I think we got it working fine just now. Looks like we're going to be playing again as, as uh, FBI Neo. Do you think it's going to take long? No, he should be finished soon. I th I'm guessing we're back at the office and we're going to talk to that Lieutenant Blake guy. God, this guy's impatient, so I'm just sitting here making do different poses. Alright guys, you know what time it is, right? Enter the Matrix. <laughs> the Michael, you know what Michael Jackson does? Yeah, I'm funny, aren't I? Ha ha ha. Yeah, I'm pretty sure none of you are laughing at that. <laughs> I fail at jokes. Huh, he's got a virtual ball. That's what she said. I'm gonna play wall ball with myself. That's cool. They're probably wondering what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Did you see that black guy? Okay, can I? I guess I'll try something else. Aw, there was my wall. But now it's time to put the Neo shades and the Michael Jackson glove away. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. I just kind of woke up. But now, do I just keep doing this? Is this all I gotta do? Really? I do nothing else here. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? Oh, okay, whatever. Guess I won't get to find out what that dialogue was. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Here's some talk to the captain, now, not the lieutenant. Jaden, of course, we've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. Hey, dude, fix your tie. That looks like there you go. Before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, now it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, I did. Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get him well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is great. I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the then again, I don't know about some of you guys, but I just recently, not that long ago, I would say maybe a few months ago, a month or two ago, I learned how to tie a tie for the first time. What do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves black. It's actually, well, to get a Windsor is actually kind of hard. And the press get onto it. I think. We suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial. There you go. He got a win. He, I think that's a Windsor. I can't tell what it is. It looks kind of wide, not wide, but long. That's what she said. No, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. Not bad. Yeah, better than what you had, guy. You didn't even have fucking tie tied yet. You just left it there all. Go see Charlie, and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. Yeah, talk to Charlene. Was that the was that the chick that was over here on the table? Let's find out. Wait, 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 wait no, 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 no. Captain Perry is doing his press conference now. Might be interesting to have a look. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. 
It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. A nice looking watch. You know what? Fine. I'll I'll be nice. I'll give him some money. Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Why she keeps that in her pocket and that shot that uh watch is actually very cheap. Show me to my office. Yes, of course. Follow me. Like it's not even a real gold watch, it's a spray painted one. And then she pockets all the money. I think it had my name on it instead of saying office. This? This God, this looks like shit. That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Yeah, I need a new office. Look at that. It's a fucking dungeon. You could at least clean, dig. Golly, it looks like shit. Okay, time to work. Yeah, time to work cleaning this fucking room up. Maybe, maybe this is like the newbie room. That makes some sense. Okay. No time to lose. Gotta get down to work. First, analyze the case files. Okay, let's do that then. Okay, it looks like the things people are... God, look at all that dust. Jeez. That's actually kind of insulting sticking in that office. But still, what was I going to say? I can't remember now. If I remember, I'll bring it back up. Oh, it looks like that, uh, the stuff your character is thinking is more of a if you get stuck type of thing. Into the Matrix. I didn't see the Michael Jackson glove, so we're not going to say anything about that. Change the office. Change the office. Okay. Do I get to pick one? Do I want to? Do I want a leaf? I can't switch. Okay. It was like clouds. Bubbles. Leaf. Let's go with the water. Huh, this is nice. <laughs> Under the sea. Under the sea. My name is Neo. I work in an office under the sea. And now we're in a forest. Is this the one he wanted? Or did I just get to play through all of them? Okay. We did the water, we did the leaf. Let's do these. these I guess these are planets. Yeah, it's Mars. At least I'd be alone. It'd be quiet. Let's see what this is. Oh, <laughs> that is cool. I think we're gonna go with this one. That's like the best looking one. I like the ocean and stuff, but nothing's more better. More better. Nothing's nicer than uh. Oh, I just get to freaking do everything, don't I? Files. That'd be so handy. You would have so much, uh, what is it? Organization and space doing it that way. Origami killer what? I can't read that. Victims. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys. Age between nine and thirteen. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. 
Bodies are found three to five days later, drowned in rainwater. <laughs> so maybe this guy just waits until, uh, he just waits until it rains to drown him or something. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. I bet you it's Mr. Four Stroke. That's who it is. I probably should pick a different environment. I can't really see this crap with all these. Age between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. Okay, well, Ethan's not that. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Okay, they can't be Ethan then, because Ethan's not very smart. And he's not organized if you saw that house. Couldn't even find the food in the kitchen that night. You know what? Origami killer victims are going to end list this. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. When it rains the most. What is geoanalysis? The killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. God, why can't today's uh, FBI and stuff have shit like this? But then again, you know, you lose those glasses, you're completely freaking screwed. Okay, so it looks like we did everything here. Ah, I wanted to play with some stuff some more. But, whatever. There'll be more time for that later. Oh, is he gonna turn to a zombie now? Is he gonna turn to a zombie? Look, his lips are getting darker. I'd rather go wash my face. Ah, turn to a zombie! All these people have something wrong with them. I wonder what it is. I'm gonna faint if I resist. Take some what? T virus antidote? It's alright. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. You're gonna turn to a zombie? That's what it looks like. You're twitching like you're gonna become a zombie. Zombie Neo, that's your name now. Oh, I get a walk now? Okay. Yeah, look at that. That's totally a zombie walk. It's totally zombie. Take crypto. No, no, fuck it. Let's see what this does. Is he on? Dr is he a drug addict? I'm still gonna go with that. He's a zombie. Oh, I should have went out. I should have walked out while I was all zombified and see what happened. What's going on now? Is that Mr. Four Stroke? Looks like him. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marshall. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses, and when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? 
Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... Ah, fuck, I can't remember. 5.15. 5.15, I think. I'm not really sure. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. Coat? It was... Fuck, I'm colorblind. This is great. We're gonna go with beige. A beige coat. I think it was beige. And a pair of pants. Those are... Brown? Brown pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? He stayed by the carousel, but... We're gonna stay take carousel. I went for a short walk around the park just for a few minutes. When I got back, the carousel had stopped, and... Sean wasn't there. I didn't click anything. Yeah, you took your son to the park after school. But you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? Well, you searched, technically, so... I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... I hope not. Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. I like how he had that slight smile on his face when he said alive. Asshole. No, it's not Mr. Forshaw. Lieutenant Blake's the fucking murderer. Did they find something? No, nothing. That the wife? We're gonna keep looking through the night. Can't remember her name. Do they? Do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say. But it is a possibility. I hope not, just for your guys' sake. And for his sake. He's still young. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? Ouch. I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. Liar. You totally meant to say that. I miss him so much. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Losing a son is nothing great. Or a daughter. Or a family member in actual reality about that. Are you gonna hug her or nothing? Are you gonna let her sit there and cry? Yeah, so I'm a bad father and a bad uh, supporter, I guess. <laughs> I lose my first son. I don't feed my second son when he gets sick. I don't give him medicine. I lose him in the park. Huh. I did not know that about myself. We need to think of a name for this guy, the detective. Unfold the movement slowly with the right stick. Okay. What's your name going to be, guy? Uh, Senor Asthma. There we go. Hey, he smirked. He liked that one. It's Tuesday now. I guess I gotta pay attention to every little thing now. Fuck, now that I think about it, I think the uh, park incident was actually like 4 o'clock or something. Good evening. Good evening to you, sir. Hello, my name is Abu. Can I help you, sir? My name Abu. I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm Sir a Senior Asthma. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. Asthma. I have nothing more to say. Sympathize. 
I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. You're gonna persist. You may know something that could help save other people's lives. I was unable to save the life of my own son. I do not see how I could save the lives of other people. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of the store, to the right. Thanks. Chocolate donuts, why don't you get that? You're a detective. Detectives love donuts. <laughs> I just crunched all them chips. Hold those for something important. Turn around! Good evening, sir. You're about to be robbed, aren't you? Are you looking for something in particular? Give me what you got in the registry. Don't fucking try anything. Ooh, so an action you event huh in the register you dumb fuck put the money on the counter shit are you deaf or what are you gonna open that fucking register or not no sir you do not have the right okay i remember there's potato chips in that one aisle so i'm not gonna go there you cannot have it come on we got this what did you say you're out of your fucking mind man you don't give me that bottle this guy loves using bottles huh if you don't do what i say now Shall not be robbing my register, sir. <gasps> I didn't see that triangle. I asked you now to leave before it is too late. Christ, goddamn idiot. Open the register. Don't make me fucking kill you. You better not kill him. I'm gonna fucking knock you out this bottle, bitch. Don't that I me. cannot do. I'll waste you, man. I ain't joking. I swear to God, man. Fuck. Drop it. Fuck. I swear to God I fucking did the jiggly thing. Hands up or I'll shoot. All right, how am I gonna get out of this one? I can't believe I fucked that up. So what are you gonna do? Someone could walk in the store any minute and sound the alarm. Yeah, I haven't got a chance of getting out of this. If the first guy to walk in here gets it right in the face. Fuck it, man. You're making me nervous. And when I'm nervous, there's no knowing what I'll do. Well, shut your mouth. Uh, my name's Scott. What about you? What's your name? Andrew. My name's Andrew. Do you have anyone you care for in your life? A, a girlfriend, maybe? A family? Maybe I was supposed to not hit him in the head. A little girl. Oh, you got a little girl, huh? I got a little girl. Her name's Jessica. Think she'd like to see you doing this Jessica shit? Jessica, think if she saw you here. Ask yourself. What would happen to her if things go wrong? Trying to keep calm. Don't panic. Let's just stay calm. Nobody here wants to hurt you. No, no, we're all just going to be cool and everything will be all right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm cool, man. Everything's going to be all fucking right. Reason. Look, it's not worth it. Put the gun down and just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll give you some fucking advice. Drop the weapon. Now, I want you to put the gun back in your pocket and quietly walk out of the store. My friend and I will forget about what just happened, and you'll have earned a second chance not to fuck up your life. What do you say? Nice try. For a second there, you almost had me believing all your shit. And now, give me the money. No, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. No, you're not taking- Give me that fucking gun. Oh, this seems like it need more. Uh. Damn. <laughs> this guy's got a fucking punch. Knocked him out in one hit. Pick up the gun. Actually, no, you're not supposed to do that. Sir, I don't know what would have happened if you had not been well, here. At least I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my boy, Razor... Damn right, give me some information. I just saved your ass. ...the letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. 
I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I? Piece of origami watch. Yep. Please. Oh, that's a gecko or a lizard. Can't be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza, but maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Well, thank you. It just kind of sucks that you know you had to have your life threatened by some random fucking punk. Then had to beat his ass for you to give me my information. I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. I can see now that I was wrong. There's good everywhere. Well, mostly everywhere. Why don't you call the cops now while well, the guy's laying on the floor knocked out before he wakes up, gets his gun, and caps you in the face? Alright guys, I think that's a good stopping point for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nostalgia, and peace.